it's Taryn. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to an Amazon Mardi Gras ball gown haul. That took me about seven times to say. We just call them Mardi Gras dresses, but I feel like that doesn't really make sense to people who don't know what I'm talking about. Each organization has a ball and at the ball you're required to wear a floor length gown. Men have to wear tails. It's a whole thing. They won't let you in if you're not dressed appropriately, but we just call them Mardi Gras dresses. So Candace and I are actually going to a ball this year. I've been to so many in my life since I turned 21. I haven't been probably in like six or seven years. It's been a long time. So we're going, I'm excited. I ordered some dresses from Amazon because they're affordable and they're actual plus size. And I remember when I first started going, it was so hard to find affordable dresses in my size. And I'm so excited that now more places offer that. So I will link everything down below for you. I hope you enjoy this video. I have four, I ordered five but the zipper on one of them is broken. I'll put a picture of it here. It's this beautiful red sequin like mermaid style dress but unfortunately the zipper is like not even connected and Candace and I couldn't figure out how to get it connected so you get four dresses today. Let's start with this green one that I'm wearing. It's in a size 22. I'm pretty sure it fits to a T. I like this one I think the most because it has sleeves on it. It's going to be a little bit chilly, but also raining. So I feel like the sleeve is probably the best option. Then I don't have to worry about a jacket and carrying the jacket around or coat checking it or whatever the case may be. I love the green sequin color. I like the little slit on the side. It's not too high. This like gathered wrap style at the top, it just zips all the way up the back. The length is so nice for heels. When the package first showed up and I put this one on, I didn't love it. And let me tell you why. I feel like in the right setting, it can easily be like mother of the bride. Just the style of it, maybe not the sequin and the color, but this like higher V here, like you're not getting a ton of cleavage, the long sleeves, this little extra bit here. But now that I have it on with like my hair fix, makeup on, the heels, this one might be my favorite. I'm also wearing shapewear with it, which is what I would wear for the ball. I just, I don't know. This one's really pretty. We'll rank them one through four at the very end, like which one's my favorite, which one's my least favorite. But this one so far is number one. Also, I don't have to tan anything else other than like this leg if I wanted to. You know what I mean? Like this part, I can just work with makeup. I don't have to put any self tanner on. This leg, like from this spot down, I can only tan if I wanted to. The other ones are sleeveless, so I feel like I would have to tan a little bit more. Also, by the way, none of these were over, I think the most expensive one I paid, I bought was $75. It's very comfortable, very pretty, very on theme with the full sequins. Dress number two, also in a size 22. This one fits a little bit more roomy than the green one, but it's meant to be a little bit flowy as well. The slit is a little bit high for me. I feel like as you're walking, I don't know, you'd have to wear some like super short bike shorts or something underneath it. I liked the black, like simple empire waist with a little bit of sparkle. I like the thicker straps. I can wear an actual bra with it. It zips up the back. This one has, again, quite a bit of stretch to it, this little gather wrap style here. It is a little bit low here. I feel like you can kind of see my shapewear. Um, so keep that in mind. See, I would have to tan my arms with this. So you see where I'm going with this, like the green one, I just feel like is the most feasible option for me without having to put a fake tan on because if it rains, will it just leak off? You know what I mean? This one was in the top like two for Candace when I tried them on, she was here to help me. I just, I don't know, it's a little bit plain. Like the fit is fine. It's flattering, I like the V. Again, the thicker straps, the little like gather here. The length is perfect. The slit's a little bit high, but I just don't love it. I feel like it's an easy, I need a dress last minute, let's wear this, but I have other options that I like better. Dress number three, this beautiful champagne sequin, sort of similar style to the black one I was just wearing. And it kind of washes me out just a little bit, but I love a good like champagne, rose goldy, like sequins. This one has no slit, which is really nice in case it is chilly outside. Zip straight up the back. This size is perfect as well. I felt like I got lucky with size. Most of the time when you're ordering things like this, you size up, you size, like sizes are sort of all over the place. 
I feel like I got lucky with these. I like that the length on this one is a little bit longer. It's still a wrap style at the top, but it kind of comes a little bit higher. Again, the thicker straps. I was big on being able to wear a regular bra. I really like this one. Okay, I don't know now. Because initially the green one and then the last one that you're about to see, I was sort of torn on. Is this the color that we should go for? Because I can't quit looking at it in the mirror. Okay, number three is beautiful. Do you need a Mardi Gras ball gown? I don't know. But these could be for other things as well. I just think it's fun. I've gotten some requests to do Mardi Gras content. So you're getting dresses. You're, I'm taking you to the ball. Some restaurants in town have different like Mardi Gras themed things on their menus. So we'll definitely go do that. I probably won't wear a dress to do that. But what do we think about this one? Last dress we have. This was my initial favorite because does it not look like something that like my mom would have worn in the 80s? I know you didn't know my mom in the 80s, but they did Mardi Gras a lot. And she always wore these like black, I don't know, like it, just the look of it reminds me of something that she would have worn and I love it. With the mesh at the top, you can see my bra, but I don't think that my shapewear strap is enough to matter. And it has cups in it, though, I mean, they're way up here. You know what I mean? In my... Boobs are not that high, so I guess I need to see if I can take the cups out. But I could go with just shapewear and no bra. I love this one, this like mermaid style. It's super stretchy. This one was not as easy to get into by myself, so it's not zipped all the way in the back, but it will zip up. It's a little bit short, but it's also so different from anything that I've ever tried for Mardi Gras. The back just zips up all the way, and again, it will zip. I just can't reach around enough to zip it myself. This one, for some reason, because it's so different, it makes me want to wear it. Like, this sequence in the front, I don't know, it's so pretty. And this is, to me, this is more Mardi Gras than the other ones. The other ones are pretty, yes, but they're just sequence dresses. This one, like the style and the pattern of the sequins and the color and everything, just screams Mardi Gras to me. Let me see if I can pull down the lining a little bit. And we'll see if we can make it a little bit longer. Also, I would probably need to do like black heels with it. I think that would be prettier than like the clear with the neutral color. I feel like this is it, right? It's so different. It gets me out of my comfort zone. The green one is more in my comfort zone with the sleeves. The fit is not as snug, but this one is just so cool. Let's talk final thoughts. The green one is my go-to. This one is the one that I want to wear because it's so different. Is it too short? That's the only thing. And like the see-through sleet like mesh part here, the cups are literally here. I need them to be here. <laughs> so I can kind of work that out, I feel like. Uh, but let me know your favorite. Let's rank them one through four. One being my favorite, four being my least favorite. Let's go for this one as number one. It's so different, but it's so Mardi Gras. Number two is green. Number three is the gold, like champagne color. Number four is the black one with a little bit of shimmer in it. So let me know down below. You're actually watching this before we go to the ball. So let me know what you think down below. I will link them for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, y'all. I'm sweating. I'll tell you that. This one. Oh. Ooh. I feel like this is the one.